Hey guys, Dude Long Couch here. Welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Alright guys, in the last video we made some pretty good progress. We've got three orb pieces. We have a plan in place. We know vaguely what we need to do. We just gotta explore more and figure out exactly how to do it. Let's go into the choir. I'm feeling good guys, we're making good progress. We're, we're getting in a groove. I like all this light, lots of candles. What the hell? This appears to be some sort of sacrificial thing. Not the first one of these I found. They're actually all over the place. The music in this part is fucking creepy. I do not like it. Well, I, I like it. Like, musically. It's really good, effective music. But it's unsettling. <laughs> After the men had secured the prisoner, the ritual began. That's weird. Okay. thought clicking on that would actually give me, like, a real flashback or something, but it's just text. There's a real note. Let's look around for one second first. I'm in desperate need of oil, Mr. Game. If you have any to spare, I would be much obliged. This room doesn't have shit. Okay. Ow, what? 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come! Oh, Jesus. There's a sack over his head. That's fucked up. Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines. Paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick, guys. That was fucked up. So... So we're sacrificing people to make the shadow leave me alone. And on some level, I can understand that. But Daniel took a lot of joy in that. The way he mocked that guy? Yeah, he, we're, we're pretty much an asshole, too. I think I'm still in the flashback, because I can't move very quickly or take out my lantern. Where am I going? Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Alright. That's pretty messed up that they actually made you do the stabbing. <laughs> I kind of like when games, like, don't give you an option. Ah, the roaches are on my screen. Ah, what the fuck? And there's a person hanging here. That's him! Are you dead? I think he's dead. But yeah, it's kind of cool, like, uh... 
when games make you do something really terrible to progress, like they don't give you a choice. Metal Gear Solid 3 kind of has a moment like that. I guess I won't spoil it in case anybody here has never played it and wants to someday. It's a pretty old game, though. Okay, here's the main hall of the choir. Such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. Yeah, I think I read that before. Daniel definitely went full evil. Where am I now? What the fuck is this what place? What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Okay. Huh, so I don't know how this is going to turn out on the final recording, guys, but it is dark as fuck in this place. And it's massive. Oh, good. And the fucking monster's here. Jesus. Is that a oh, God, he's right there! Fuck me! Fuck me! Oh, God. I'm dead. I'm so dead. There's nowhere to run. I can't get away. I don't know where the door is. Why the fuck is this happening? Okay. Oh, Jesus. Don't run. Don't... Great. Let's just not run. Okay. Fuck this. That was bullshit. My heart is in the middle of my throat right now. I can't see anything in this place. And the monster's here. Dude. I don't even know how I got in here. Okay, here's the... Here's the door. I've got to, like, mark this somehow. i got to remember where this is. There's a pipe. There's a pipe that leads right to that door. What if I follow the pipe? I can barely see it. And I know I'm going to run into that bastard again. There's nothing to light around here. I'm not doing great on lantern oil. This place officially sucks. <laughs> okay, I can light this at least. Although I don't want to hang out here long if the goddamn monster's in this area. Which we know that he is. Is that a door? Okay, here at least is... some new area. Hold on, let me look over here real quick. Okay, we might be on the other side of where I was before I got murdered. Or it might be another place altogether. It's really hard to tell. I'm gonna keep that door closed. Am I? Ah, oh, shit! You sons of bitches! You, you, you. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. To, for this to fly open. No, you can't fool me, game. I ain't touching it. That's a, that's a torture rack thing. I'm not touching it because that'll hurt. Fuck you. Oh, health. Cool. That'll really come in handy when the monster finds me again and murders me in one fucking hit. I can just use my health potion. And he'll be like, oh, I guess I don't have to kill you after all. Mm. Whoops. Alright. 
right, there's a giant bone here. I don't know what I want with the bone. And a torture cage. Man, this game really set me up just to knock me down, guys. <laughs> the last video, like, made me feel all good. Like, oh, maybe they're done with the monster shit. Maybe it's not gonna be that scary from here on out. It was real easy to get around. Oh, a piece of orb, sweet. And then I come into this place, and it's just like... I feel like this is what hell would actually be like. Oh, I can't touch it, okay. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked, and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and begun to leak. Jesus. Mother. Mother cock. Okay. Eye stuff, like, doesn't bother me that much like it does some people. Some people can't handle eye stuff. But I do remember a scene in, I think it was the movie Hostel, where a guy had his eye ruptured, and, uh, it was real gross. And, by the way, I'm totally out of oil again. What have I got? I've got three jars. All right. Be great if I could find a barrel. I wouldn't even know where to start looking for a barrel down in this place, though. Alright, well, there's one piece of orb in here. They're probably not going to stack up two pieces in the same area. So I guess we head back out into the jungle. <laughs> oh, jeez. I hate this place. I can tell you guys that with, uh, no uncertainty. I've only been in this place a couple minutes, and this is my least favorite place in the entire game. Bones. I've got to figure out where the hell to go next. If I wall crawl, maybe I can find a new area. At this point, I'm just pretty much completely lost. I haven't the foggiest clue where I came in from. Fuck. Okay, it said don't run. So... Slowly meander in this direction. Gee, the music. The music. Does he fucking see me? He has to. God damn it! What am I supposed to do? Seriously, what the fuck? What the fuck? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. It's just, there's nothing. But, well, even when I didn't run, he fucking found me, assholes. <laughs> As soon as it starts playing that fucking Freddy Krueger music, you just know that you're done. Okay, they let me keep my piece of orb, though. They put me back here. Oh, I'm back at the entrance. Okay. What about oil? Yep, I used up the oil, though. Or rather, they used up the oil that I used. Whatever, you know what I mean. I can't talk right now. This <laughs> is seriously stressing me the fuck out. I guess when I hear him, I should just find, like, a dark corner and just crouch down. Like, try not to move at all. What the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? I did- I did- but I- I could- I didn't- but there was nothing- mm, Okay. Okay. You know what, that- that's a good thing, because it puts me- back at the entrance so I can get my bearings. It seems like every time I cross this bridge. Maybe she knows. 
Shut up, Daniel. There's enough bullshit going on without you adding to it right now. Oil. Yes. Give me that. Thank you, Lord. Okay, I'm just gonna... This is gonna take a while, but I'm gonna crouch walk everywhere. Because even when I'm not running and when I'm not using my lantern, that motherfucker finds me. He flags me down. And I'm just gonna stick to this wall and try to find another door. Supplies. But that's not what I need. God damn it. Okay. He's close. He's close. If I just sit here and stare at the wall, <laughs> will I be okay? <laughs> That's the only thing I know to do. Mother dick. Don't look this way. Don't look this way. Pass me by. Let's try and creep past. Oh my god, I think I did it. I successfully navigated a monster sighting in this room. <laughs> so basically, if you just crouch down, stand by the wall, and don't look at him. I think that's like the best shot you have of getting through that type of encounter. Is this the room I've already been in? It probably is. Oh no, it's not. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are, by this point, useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. You sick fucks getting off on that stuff. I'll tell you what, if you guys read the Medieval Torture, Google a device called the Pair. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It's called the Pair of Anguish. If you wanna know, just go look it up. It's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Okay, what is this? The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent, so the rope secured around his legs stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Mercy. That's so sweet of you guys. <laughs> Give me my goddamn piece of orb. I know there's one in here. Also, can I take this? I want a sledgehammer. I want to be able to swing this motherfucker. Beat up a monster. Fuck a monster. There it is. Alright. So that's 
five pieces. There's gonna be one more somewhere in this huge fucking area. I have no idea where to even start looking for it. But we're almost there, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this video off here because I have no idea how long this next piece is gonna take. It might take an entire video. I hope it doesn't. But I hope that you will tune back in and find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. I am Dude Terrified Couch, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.